This is Eat and Drink, the mini episode. You're going to love it. It's everything we offer in a major episode, but in a mini form. Or you're going to hate it, because it's everything we offer, <laughs> uh, offer you in a major but episode, we cut it but short. we cut it down. So oh. you're gonna, this is the episode that divides our listeners. This episode is about food, but it's not about food stuffs. Yeah. Yeah. It's about stuff in the food world and there's so much of it. There's the idea of like tipping, there's the idea of like etiquette, there's yeah. the idea of paying people, yeah. your staff and all of this stuff. There's so much we would be remiss not to do a mini episode. Or this just might be our opinion on something. It might be that too. This I'm here is our opinion. Yeah. With Ali Hassan. I'm here with Marco Timpano. All right. And today we're going to talk about So, I go to this vegan restaurant with my <laughs> wife, right? It was great. I, and I'm not – listen, vegan is like one of the last things on my list that I'm going to look for when I'm going out today. Yeah. Right? No However, offense to vegans or whatever. No, of course not. Uh, you know, eat a steak. But I'm going to say I this. was vegan for the last two months. I don't, oh, I, don't, you, I don't subscribe to this. I don't approve of this. I tried to be listen. vegetarian once in my life. Yeah. And then I had dreams of prosciutto. I would go to sleep no. and my body would be like – you're denying your cultural heritage. Wake up and eat prosciutto. So I was able to do it for a month, and then I was like, I can't. I just can't. Months all right. Put some pork in my mouth. Yeah. So, anyways, go to this restaurant. It was it was in a magazine that's a one of the best restaurants in the city. You got to check it out. So my wife's like, we got to do it. I wanted to see Black Panther. It was the opening weekend of Black Panther. So that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But- Vegan was kind of a side thing. <laughs> if it happens, if it happens. If it doesn't, who cares? I, I, I could have not eat for the day because I wanted right. to see Black, Black Panther. Panther. And you yeah. remember when it came out, you couldn't get tickets, right? Yes. So it was, I would think, one thirty in the afternoon, let's go see Black Panther. By the time we got our stuff together, and when I say we, I mean her, yeah. we were too late. It was sold out. Or like there was only the front, front row, and I'm like, I can't watch this movie I'm looking forward to. So no. she's like, well, there's a restaurant across the street that I've always wanted to try. So I'm like, all right. We get there. It's vegan, right? I'm like, oh, this is just making my life so much better right, right. now that all I want to do is see Black Panther. So we sit there, and the waiter comes by and explains that this is a course menu, and we're just going to bring you th- things. Let us know if there's anything you don't eat in the vegan lifestyle, and uh, it's pay what you think. And I was like, what are we doing right now? Because one thing, okay, I can deal with courses, no problem. A course <laughs> menu, chef's going to make me stuff. I'll tell him when to stop. Pay what you think. And he's like, if you, you know, if you didn't like it, you don't have to pay anything. If you liked it, you pay whatever you think the value of that dish was. And, and just to be clear, this is not the tip. This is not no, no, you no. tip us what you think. No, this no. is the entire yeah. course meal. Pay whatever you felt it was worth. Yeah. And they had items on it that I wasn't familiar with. So they had pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds, but they were huge. They were like the size of my thumbnail. And I'm like, I've never, I asked the waiter, I'm like, what is this? And they're like, Oh, it's a pepito, which is a pumpkin seed. I'm like, thanks, but this is not what I'm used to when I see. Oh, but it's a Ecuadorian pepita or whatever. Like it's okay. from somewhere. So I'm like, oh, how much is a pepita? How much is an Ecuadorian pepita the size of my thumbnail cost? <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to do food costing in my head. Yeah. And my wife, my wife's just enjoying her time, enjoying right, this right, restaurant, right, right. eating up the store, <laughs> right? And I'm like, okay, so we just got that course, and that I would say about fifteen bucks for yeah. that. Another course is coming. Oh, cashew milk is on it. I don't think that's too expensive, but and I was like. I was stressed the entire meal. I was yeah. stressed. What do I pay at the end? And then we, one of the waiters knew my wife. Yeah, because she's a performer, and this guy was a performer. And it was like so they had a little nicety. They sent us, they sent us uh, champagne. Yeah, and so it's like oh, it was nice of them to send it. But now it's like now we have to, now we have to not only tip well, not that we don't tip well, but right, but we also have to tip well, and we have to make sure that we pay an appropriate price. Two things about this. Yeah. Number one, what an amazing meal this must have been. Because once you stress somebody out like that, for yep. me, yeah. it, you know, that's that's stressful. Like, as you said, you're thinking costing right yep. away. Despite that, you said it was a great meal. It was. It would be easier for me to have this conversation if I didn't enjoy the meal. Everything yes, was Yes, nice. of course. And you can't be hateful. That's they, they robbed you of that joy. For a carnivore, yeah. sometimes you have this bias that a vegan or a vegetarian meal is going to be salad or rice. It's going to be very plain. They're not going to be able to do anything with it. They made, I did not lack for For protein, for protein or for meat. It's so, it's so funny that you use the word carnivore, uh, which, which sounds like a guy who eats people. 
uh, who oh, watches people eat meat rather than carnivore, oh, oh, which is somebody. <laughs> but it's so funny that you yeah. would, because now right. you seem like a guy. I'll watch them, but I don't want it. I'm happy with this right, meal. Right. But okay, so number one, how good this meal must have been. Yeah. Number two, what a goddamn nightmare. It was. It was. You know what? <laughs> do you do Ali, it. I'm going to endeavor for us to have a podcast at that restaurant where we talk to the chef owner. Yes. And figure out what they were thinking. And I just want to... Is it working? Was it the right way to go? Yeah. How? Let's hear some stories about the times that it backfired, is which it, must be a plenty. Is it a gimmick? And do you care that it's stressful for meat eaters yeah, like yeah, myself? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that part of it? Is that part of it? Or do you not care? Like, Do you not care if people don't tip? Are you paying your staff so well that it's like... It's exactly. Fine? What is happens to your staff? Like, you impose this on your restaurant and your clients, but how are your workers... Now I'm angry. Yes. When I really shouldn't be, but yeah, I'm yeah, in an yeah, angry yeah, mood. Yeah. You know, I'm a bit more of a curmudgeon than you, yeah, so yeah. like it just stands for you. But like... How do you compensate your staff if you get some schmo off the street and a schmoette and they schmo themselves down and leave without a tip? When you're saying it's perfectly fine off the top, they didn't even have a suggested price. If they would have said, listen, for seven courses, our suggested price is $65 or $85, yeah. I'd have been like, cool, then I'm going to give $95. i am going to up it by 10 or 20 or whatever. I would ask the waiter. I think I would ask the waiter, what do you suggest? I need some help here. Uh, yeah. That's what I would have said. And, you know, you're talking about schmoes and schmoettes. When I used to manage a restaurant, there was this couple who would go around Montreal and be like, I just found this hair in my soup. What are you going to do about it? Mm-hmm. And then you had to comp them a meal. Yeah. And then uh, one day, like, my, my – ma- my, like, I was the manager, woefully unqualified. Right. The assistant manager didn't want the manager job. He never wanted it. Right. But he knew way more than I did. Okay. And so he came in the next day. And I told him what happened. He goes, did they look like this and this? Was it a man and woman, black mm. hair long? He goes, yeah. They're banned from most restaurants in Montreal. Wow. And he, he goes, I know them. I've served them before in other restaurants. Okay, maybe we maybe we put a notice up. Maybe we yeah, put yeah, a picture like up. A, do not accept checks from these people. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, they yeah, have yeah. Grocery oh, but they, Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But these guys, it's like, uh, take the hair out and, and put it back in the woman's purse or something. The point is these people exist. Yeah. These disgusting... And so when word gets out yeah. that this place is pay what you think, there are people who will be like, I'm going and I'm paying nothing. And that's never going to change. Can I just do a little sidetrack story? Yes. Do you mind if I veer of off not. the food road? I think you need it. Your okay. anger, your okay. your face is purple right now. You need the I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, so my aunt, so my mom had a beauty shop. She was a, a hair, hairdresser back when I was a kid. Um and my aunt, her younger sister, worked there, who was also a hairdresser. So she was doing this older woman, doing her hair, did her whole hair, set, wash, cut, and whatnot. And the woman said, I want to talk to the manager, which would be my mother. And mm. she said to my mother, I don't like this hairstyle. It's not what I wanted. And so my aunt said, oh, okay, I'll redo it. What do you want? She's like, no, I don't, I don't like it. I don't want it, blah, blah, blah. And I want, I want a refund. A, a refund. I want a free haircut. I want. So my aunt's like, you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it for you. And if you don't like it after that, you don't have to pay for it. And the way my mom describes it, because my mom was like, okay, we'll do, we'll give you the money. But my aunt was a little bit more, as we say in Italian, furba. She's a little bit more um, sly, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hip hip to what's really up. Hip to what's going on. So my aunt's like, okay, no problem. Sit in the chair. She takes a brush, brushes out. Brushes the, you know. The perm out, yeah. Just brushes her hair completely out in a mess. And she goes, great, now you can leave the shop. You're not walking out of here with Ooh. my style. Oh, and not wow. Full That's respect. my aunt. aunt. That's my aunt Loretta, who now lives in Italy. But Full yeah, she was like, no, you're not doing this. Because my aunt said, these older ladies would come in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they would try to milk your mother, my sister, of free haircuts. By saying, I don't like it, I don't want to pay for it. Yeah. So she's like, after that, no one came You in. know, in the food world, that's the equivalent of somebody going, I just found a hair in yeah. my soup, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to refund that soup, but first, pouring the soup in your lap. Well, you know, here's the thing. I don't think you should have your whole... If, if I find a hair in my soup, legitimately, yeah. a hair in my soup, and I say to you, listen, and it's all in your approach, because that's going to happen. For sure it is. It's inevitable that people who work in a kitchen, even if they're wearing hair nuts, something like that's going to happen. Don't freak out. Talk to the waiter or the manager and say, listen, I found a hair in my blank. What I think should happen is like, I'm really sorry. 
We apologize for that. We're going to take that off off your menu. And what we what we would like to do is offer you a free blank. Yes. Dessert and coffee, a free appetizer. Are you comfortable having the same dish? We'll remake it with you. Remake it for you. Hairless. This Hairless time. this time, right? Unless it's a dish that requires hair in it, right? And I don't know many that do. <laughs> but like, let's, hey, we're not. We don't know all the cultures in the world. <laughs> we don't know every ethnic food. Listen, some, might, some, some people like it. But yeah. what I'm saying is, like, you can repair that without having to comp the whole meal. And if the person's really still upset. And there's something, and they're a client that comes in all the time, and and I could see how somebody might be like, listen, I just don't, I'm not hungry anymore. I don't. Yeah, feel yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I would say, as the manager, if I was in that situation, I'm really sorry you had a bad experience. We're gonna comp this, and I'm gonna invite you to come back. If you come back, I will take care of your drink or yeah. your coffee or your dessert. So please come back. Something to repair it. But there are these people who try to take advantage of it. This is, you know, the reason why I got taken advantage also was because it was their first course. It was the soup. Uh, so I was like, oh, if, you t- if you're scamming, find a hair in your curry. You know what I mean? That, 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 go, go with your main meal. Well, if you find it in the first, if you find it in your first course, and you're not going to accept a free something after all, like yeah. like if you're like, okay, I found it in my first course. I'm really sorry. I'm going to take the soup off your menu. Yes. I'm going to give you free dessert and coffee. Yeah. And if they're still not happy with that, at that point, you're like, well, listen, I will refund up till now. Yes. And then I bid you farewell. Yes. Because otherwise, how can these restaurants and how can these waiters survive if you got these people coming in? I know. Well, there you go. Well, that this is a mini episode. That was my experience. What do you think? Tell us what you think about places that say pay what you feel. Go to the website. Write in. Pay what you feel, pay what you think, or pay what you felt the meal was worth. How do those words ring in your mind? Marco and I, we don't agree on everything, but this one stresses us both out quite a bit. Thank you. You've been listening to Eat and Drink, the mini episode.